Hello, my name is Maxim and in this tutorial I will show you how to set up basic web pack configuration for your React app. I know that there is Create React App package that allows you to easily bootstrap your React application without even touching settings. But it's good to know how to do it manually, so let's get started. Create new folder Webpack React and open it. This combination dollar sign underscore is a reference to our previous command last argument. So enter this command. And now we need to initialize new node project. Run npm init and pass y argument so we don't have to answer any questions. This will create a package JSON file. You can check if everything is fine running ls. And the next create file src index.html with the following contents. It's important that it has div with id root. This will be a mounting point for our React application. Later you'll see that we'll find this div by id root and use it to render our app component. Step number two, set up Webpack. We'll install Webpack, it's our core dependency. Webpack dev server, well, it will allow us to run the dev server. And HTML Webpack plugin will handle loading of our index.html and save them as dev dependencies. We'll also need to install Webpack Cli to run it from command line. Create file webpackconfig.js with following contents. You need to import HTML Webpack plugin and path. This is basic setup, we specify entry. It is a file from which Webpack will start compiling our sources. And output folder with output file called bundle.js. Here we specify that we want to use HTML Webpack plugin to handle our HTML template. Here we specify a custom element because, as I said, we needed to have a mounting point, a div with id root. We don't have to worry about loading our bundle.js because HTML Webpack plugin will handle it automatically. Go to package.json and uh, Add two scripts, build and start. Build will generate our bundle.js and start will start the pack dev server. Step number three, set up Babel. We install preset env to transform our ES6 files to ES5 and preset react to transform JSX to JavaScript. Create file babelrc with following configuration. We're specifying two presets, preset env and preset react that we installed in previous step. Then go to webpack config.js and add the baby loader to your configuration. It will process our JS and JSX files. We don't need to transpile installed modules, so we ignore node modules folder. Step 4. Now it's time to set up React. Install dependencies. We'll need React, obviously, and we'll also need React DOM to render it to HTML documents. Create file src app.js with following contents. We are creating simple functional component that will render our example layout and we instantly render it to our mounting point, our element with id root using React DOM. This is why we needed this div id root in our index.html. After you add this code to your component, you can start your application. Go to console and run npm run start. If everything was done correctly, you should see this page. Hello React, minimal React configuration. I also have an article for this tutorial, so if you prefer text format, then you can just follow the link maximivanov.com post basic webpack react setup. The link for it will be in the description and then follow the steps to set up your webpack configuration. Thank you for watching this video and if you have any further questions like how to set up styles for your application or any other questions about React or bundlers or Webpack, just let me know in the comments and I will try to help you.